I wanted to do a video on how you tape a pickleball court on a tennis court. We'll first look at how you put four pickleball courts on one tennis court. Here are the dimensions and uh, we'll take a look at how it's actually done. So this is how Green Valley Country Club tapes their pickleball courts on their tennis courts. Here uh, they are putting two pickleball courts on one side of a tennis court and they're starting six feet from the tennis net and putting in the 44 foot uh, left side of a pickleball court. And notice how he keeps the tape taunt and then drops it all at once to get a nice straight line. Do you have to rub it or? Uh, uh, I have a roller. It's, afterwards? In the summer it's worse when it's humid. I definitely have to roll it. Uh, today it's not going to be bad. So this corner is six feet from the tennis net and three and a half feet from the center service line of the tennis court. This is a 20 foot piece of tape which is the back of one of the pickleball courts. So this corner is six feet from the tennis net and five and a half feet from the side of the tennis court. They have very faint little marks on the court to know where to start. Now this is the other side of the pickleball court, again a 44 foot piece of tape. Again this side is five and a half feet from the side of the tennis court and 11 feet past the end so of the tennis court. It looks like it looks is like one, two, three and about a half steps to the center line. Okay. And so you get to use that white line yep. for the kitchen. So the tennis service line is the kitchen line, and it, but it needs to be extended. The second kitchen line is four feet in from the back of the tennis court. So these are the two kitchen lines. So this one he's working on, he had just finished this one, which has the two main lines down, the two kitchen lines, the two end lines, and then notice he has to extend the center line here. So the singles line needs to be extended on both sides. The back of the pickleball court is 11 feet from the back of the tennis court. So I think that's what he's going to do next, just extend the singles line. Got it. So these are the two double courts and then he did a single court over here. So if you have a lot of room behind your tennis court, you can use this diagram and lay out. Here the pickleball court starts eight feet from the tennis net and then you have to draw two uh, kitchen lines because you're not using the service line for one of the lines. Green Valley decided to position the pickleball court six feet from the tennis net because there's not that much room behind the tennis court and this is the layout where they're able to use the service line for one of the kitchen lines uh, and then the center service line uh, for the center. Yeah, it looks like he has uh, markings down here for the uh, center position all measured out. The pickleball net is positioned 28 feet from the tennis net. Pretty nice. So how much time do you allocate to do the taping? Roughly 10 minutes per court? So let me show you. This is putting two on one side of a tennis court. putting one on a tennis court. Hey, thanks for watching my new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life. Uh, if you're interested in any of my other pickleball videos, they're here in the top right. Uh, check out my other channel, Nick's Tesla Life, here in the top left. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.